I know when you hear of emergency contraceptive, the next thing that comes to your mind is Postino 2. But let me shock you. Do you know that IUD, intrauterine device, is an emergency contraceptive? Yes. And also, do you know that IUD is more effective than Postino 2? Mm. Do you know that IUD is 99% effective? Now you know. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about IUD as an emergency contraceptive. And on this particular video, I'm going to be explaining how it works, how effective it is, who can use it, because not everybody can use it. When we're talking about who can use it, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of IUD and also how to get this IUD, which is an emergency contraceptive. Like I said at the beginning of this video, when we hear of emergency contraceptive, the next thing that comes to our mind is Postino 2. But Postino 2 is not as effective as intrauterine device. IUD is the most effective um, emergency contraceptive you can use to prevent pregnancy. IUD, which is intrauterine device, is 99% effective when inserted within five days after unprotected sex. Unlike Postino 2, when it comes to Postino 2, it has to be, the piece has to be taken within 72 hours, which is three days. But for IUD, it has to be inserted within five days, which is like 120 days hours and also iud can be inserted and can prevent pregnancy no matter the time or period you are in your menstrual cycle you know it's posting or two you have to think about oh have you released egg or not to be effective because once the egg is already released posting or two is no longer effective but in iud it doesn't really matter the time you are in your menstrual cycle it's going to help you prevent pregnancy as far you have you insert the device within five days of unprotected sex. And also, IUD can stay in your body for as long as 10 years to prevent pregnancy, and it can be taken out when you want to get pregnant. So the next question is, who can use IUD? Who can use this copper intrauterine device? Generally, everybody can use it. But, there is a but, if you as a woman have a uterine abnormality that prevents adequate placement of the device, then you cannot use it. That's one. If you have an active pelvic infection or a sexually transmitted infection that you've not treated, please and please, you cannot use IUD. So if you have infection generally, it's advisable you get it salted at. In case there's an emergency like this, you can use the IUD. And if you have severe copper allergies, please and please, you can't use the IUD. But for other people, I can say you can go ahead and use IUD. But if you are under these three categories I just listed, you can't use the intrauterine device as a method of contraceptive. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons. Before we talk about the cons, let's talk about the pros. One of the pros is it is the most effective emergency contraceptive available at the moment. So it is 99% effective and it's the one available, the most effective. You can see that deserve an applause when it comes to emergency contraceptive. Then the second is it starts working immediately you insert it. So you don't need two days, you don't need three days. It starts working immediately you insert it into the body. Then theory, it can prevent pregnancy for years and you don't need to worry about getting pregnant. And the fourth point is when it comes to IUD as a method of contraceptive, it is very good for those that are sensitive to those hormones. It's not a hormonal type of contraceptive. So when you insert it, for those that are sensitive, they don't, it doesn't really have effect on them. So these are the four pros when it comes to IUD. Now we are done with the pros of IUD. Now let's talk about the cons. One of the cons is that it is not inserted by an individual. It has to be inserted by the healthcare provider. Unlike Postino 2 that you can easily buy over the counter and take, IUD requires a trained personnel, requires a trained healthcare provider to insert it. Did you get that? Then the second point is that you are likely going to have cramps and heavy bleeding, heavy period, especially in the first few months after inserting it. So it's normal. 
but if the bleeding is some becoming so so much please contact your healthcare provider all right then the last cons i would like to share with you in regards to iud is that it does not protect you from sexually transmitted disease and we all know that condoms protect us from sexually transmitted diseases but for iud it does not have the capacity to do that so how to go about it so if you need an iud as a method of emergency contraceptive what you need to do is to contact your doctor as soon as possible and get it inserted within five days of unprotected sex. So you have to book an appointment with your doctor within that five days and visit your doctor as soon as possible. Remember, it is not what you can give to yourself. It's what a trained healthcare provider can actually insert for you. Okay, now let's talk about how copper IUD works. They work by one, preventing fertilization. IUD in triuterine device, they release these copper ions. When they release these copper ions, they create toxic environment for the sperm. And you know what toxic environment can do? It's going to destroy the sperm. And when the sperm is destroyed, fertilization cannot take place. That's one of the ways it works. Then the second way it works is that it prevents implantation. Even if the egg is already fertilized, it does not give room for implantation to take place. So it's like there's not going to be an implantation here today. Oh yeah. Let's scatter the business. Even if the egg is already there, scatter everything. So those are the two mechanisms of actions in which IUD is able to prevent pregnancy. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. This is a very important video and I would advise you to share as soon as possible. Thanks and see you in our next video popping up tomorrow.